Hey guys, we're rocking and we're back with the Hero Coliseum. This time we are doing more of the story mode challenge and we are on to the city battles. I don't honestly know which order they should be done in. So I'm just going to start with this guy. I only know which one was really powerful and that's the one that's near the um, sort of online sort of uh, matches and stuff. So we'll leave him for last and then after that we'll just hit whoever we want. So uh, here we go. I have decided to do all the five star free battles after this. Uh, people seem to like the story mode deck. I enjoy using it as well. And you never know, there might be a five star battle that throws a spanner in the works and uh, provides a bit of a challenge. So, yeah, I'll be uh, doing that once we've done the city battles, however long that takes. I'm not anticipating taking too long because I don't think there's too many to do. Um, wow, you have absolute dog shit, don't you? <laughs> In comparison to what I'm used to fighting. Holy crap, you're terrible. Um, can we just kill stuff in one turn? Let's try and kill stuff in one turn. Let's just try and kill all of his figures for one straight away. We'll be one punch man. All three of them, hopefully. Yeah, I knew some of the free battles would be piss easy, because... There's like a set order when they released. I don't know whether it matters which order you play them in. Sort of affects which deck they've got. I don't know. I think that's something I've... Uh... Oh, come on. Really? Come on, Gohan. You're better than that. Show me how it's done, Goku. Fucking hell. Really? And there's no way that Broly's killing Piccolo. Wow, that's actually a really disappointing turn. And none of you got a counter-attack. Gohan should live this, right? He's not going to die to trunks, is he? No, thank God for that. That would have been humiliating if Gohan had died to freaking trunks. Kid trunks, that is. I, uh, right, so, next turn we will definitely kill something. I, I'm pretty much guaranteed of that, surely. Okay, no ultimate gauge for you. Let's just run with the same thing. Um, I don't know if anybody does die this turn. <laughs> Piccolo doesn't. Um, Goten might. And Krillin might. But based on last turn, I'm not that confident. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do all the five star battles with the deck. I've really enjoyed doing this. This has been... It's possibly been my favourite series I've done on the channel. I've... As much as it's made me angry at times, the story mode challenge has just been a lot of fun. And I'm so glad that I've done it, and I'm so glad that you guys have enjoyed it so much. I would recommend that you go back to the early episodes and watch them, because recent ones have gotten sort of three, 400 views, whereas some of the older ones are still in the 100s. I'd really recommend watching them, because you can really see how the deck has evolved over time. And uh, they were just really fun episodes. I've really honestly enjoyed nearly every moment of this. There's a few moments, obviously, with Rage where I've um, not been a big fan of it. But apart from that, yeah, I've loved this series. It's been fantastic. And I really can't wait to do another one after this. Uh, I'm really into doing these challenges. Like, this was just something that popped into my head one day. I've just got to think of um, another one that's just as interesting. I've had the idea for um, using the original five figures that the game gives you and just limit breaking them. But I don't know yet. That might be done on my Switch simply because I don't want to spend TP medals on this trying to get shit figures. <laughs> Whereas on my Switch I think I've got a lot of the um, original figures. At least uh, one copy of them. So I might do that. I don't know. That was one of the ideas I had. Uh, I don't want to make... The thing is, I don't want to give myself powerful decks to do these challenges. Um, an SR deck challenge might be something I'd do. Maybe just a randomizer. Throw a load of my figures into a randomizer and see which five it gives me. Go through the free battles with that. That could be interesting. Take uh, randomized decks through uh, the free battles. I don't know. You guys... Uh, 
tell me what you think and tell me any suggestions you've got for challenges I could do because I'm always up for them. Like I say, I've really enjoyed doing this challenge. I think it's honestly a lot more fun than playing online games and having people rage quit 90% of the time. That's just my personal opinion, though. Also, Goku Black has managed to do absolutely nothing, <laughs> as usual. But at least this time he didn't take he didn't take any damage. Jesus, Goku Black, get in the game for Christ's sake. You know, consider how easy I said this would be. This this battle has taken longer than some of the other ones, like some of the seven star free battles. For Christ's sake, didn't take this long. All right, go on. Oh, come on. I was hoping to kill him before I had to beat up Trunks again, but okay. Nice, that's the first battle out of the way. I will admit, I am, whilst I'm playing this, I am slightly looking down at Dokkan as well, because I've been playing that a lot recently. Uh, the new banner came out yesterday, and I'm really disappointed, because I'd saved up. I literally started a new um, game on my uh, Amazon Fire. And uh, I saved up near enough, probably about 75% of the dragon stones I'd gotten up to this point. I was up to about 800 dragon stones. Used them all under the Gohan banner, didn't get one Gohan. So that was a little upsetting. Like literally 800 plus. Um, let's see, I've earned another... God, I earned another 100 today, about 100, something like that, because I did two more summons. So, 900 Dragon Stones. Bear in mind, as well, that after three purchases, you got a free one, as well. And I didn't get a single Gohan from it. No, I don't want to do that. I want to battle this person. Duh. But, yeah, that annoyed me a bit. I did get the um, Transforming Goku and the Transforming Vegeta, which is... They're pretty good, so I'm kind of happy with that. But it's still sort of disappointing to... Uh, Two have not gotten the Gohan. Just would have been a nice addition. Because um, the rest of my Dragonstones, I um, pumped them back when it was the um, Super Saiyan 4 banners. Uh, I got the Goku. I got the AGL uh, LR Goku. And uh, I didn't manage to get enough copies of him to rainbow him. But he's pretty damn powerful even without it. Oh god, you actually telegraph where you're going to put your stuff. Jesus. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't one-turn him, so... Let's just do that. Like I say, I couldn't remember what order these free battles were in. I might just make this a huge episode where... Free battles? City battles. I might just make this a huge episode where I just blast through all of the city battles. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Well, you'll... You'll be able to tell by how long the episode is. If it's like 40 minutes, then uh, that's what I've probably gone and done. But uh, as of right now, I have no clue. So why on earth? <laughs> I just look at Diana Doak and I'm just like, why did I take that path? Also, I've missed playing uh, on PlayStation 4 the last couple of days because I did actually play a bit on my Switch again on Hero Coliseum, and by god, it is just awful trying to do counterattacks because the buttons are black and the text is in white. It gives you no no indication apart from it being sort of X or Y. Which, to be honest, I <laughs> I never really looked at that. I've just looked at the colors and like, okay, it's pink, so it's the square, or it's green, so it's the triangle. Much easier way of doing it. Shit, I just fucked it up. <laughs> oh my god. You know what, we'll just skip all that. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've got a bunch of new decks I want to use as well um, online. Which should be pretty fun. One of them is, I'm going to be honest right now and say, that deck is not going to do anything. Because it will be very hard to kill, but it puts out next to no damage. Also, I really need to hit a high number here. There's the 300, and the game hits a 120. Okay. Thanks for uh, making me have to worry about that. Right, so that should be three deaths. There's no excuse. We have more than enough attack, I would think, to take down them all. 
Bye, Hercule. Rip. <laughs> Come on, you can do this, can't you? You've had two buffs. Yeah, okay. I like your dream battle, Goku. I wish he could um, limit break as well. That's maybe something that uh, sort of Hero Cole saying could take from Dokkan in that uh, taking older figures and limit breaking them. I mean, think how powerful a limit broken version of Extreme Battle Goku could be. Like, he's pretty powerful already. Like, he's not on par with something like, say, Gotenks or something like that. But he is pretty damn powerful. Also, I don't know why I chose Gotenks, because he's not similar to him. Who else reduces ultimate attack gauges? Um, God, I can't think off the top of my head. There must be somebody else who does it who's an AUR. Well, regardless, just think how good he'd be, though, if he did have a uh, limit broken form. I just think uh, if they're going to be lazy and give us shit end figures, I'd rather them be less, slightly less lazy and just limit break current figures, like the current SRs. Limit break them. Make them better. Like Janemba, that's another one that could be limit broken baby I would love to see a good a very good baby figure because baby is my favorite villain in all honesty from Dragon Ball all of the Dragon Ball universe baby is my favorite villain so I would really love a um, a new figure for him also yeah sorry about that <laughs> I need a drink <laughs> it's still bloody hot here so, yeah. Not comfortable to record in. Especially, as like I've said, doors closed, windows closed, fan off. It's just like, yeah. I, I melt while I record these videos during the summer. And I hate the heat. I love it when winter comes. I absolutely love winter. Also, we're not battling you. Because you were really good, from what I remember. Sheeta. <laughs> okay, we're going to sheeta on you. Right, so what level are you? Are you any good? Or are you going to be as your name implies? Alright, come on. Load us in. Let's see uh, what master level they are. Make it 70s at least. 53. Oh god. Well, you're going to have more HP than me still. So, there's something at least. Please don't put your figures down at least to show me where you're going to put them. Because that would be freaking boring if you did. Alright, some interesting figures, including ones that could do with Limit Breaks. You've got this Vegeta, he'd be quite good with a Limit Break. Gohan would obviously be. And Great Saiyan Man 2 would be, because she is actually really good. As she is. And that's just as an R figure. Like, if you made her a UR, she would be freaking amazing. She's bulky as hell right now. But she just doesn't have the health to... Um, survive long, so that's the problem with her. Oh, come on. Goku Black needs to get punched. That's how he works. Even though this is the crap version of him. He needs to be punched in the face for him to get better. Well, at least we'll kill the Goku and not take any damage to my figures, but he's going to hit my master hard. Well, she is, sorry. What is the... This de this is a weird deck, really, when you look at it. Usually they're themed to some degree. This is Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Videl. Okay, that sounds alright. And then Android 18. I'm just like, okay. Also, why is it using Videl as Great Saiyan Woman, but not Gohan as Great Saiyan Man? Or should I say Great Saiyan Man 2 for Videl? I don't know. No, I don't want to skip shit. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, Goku Black, let's see what you can do. You're hitting the mark. Oh, God, you got an attack down, haven't you? Jesus Christ. You know what? That's more than I was expecting. Plus, he got the counter attack, so. That's an acceptable performance from Goku Black. It's certainly a lot better than the shit he usually puts out, so. Uh, I'll give him that. Now, how much damage are we going to take? Because this should hurt quite a bit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite nasty. 
How much is 18 going to do? Not too much. It would have been a bit scary if Gohan had be, been behind her because he has a bit more attack, but... That still drops us to 7k, which means I kind of have to do this. Okay, Goku Black gets double buffs. Nice. Because there's no way they'll kill him. Well, they shouldn't kill him. Let's, let's go with that. They shouldn't kill him. Also, yeah. Thankfully... I managed to get the um, the victory in the speed tie there because the game didn't want me to. It was only giving me the 100s. So the 190 was the top I was going to get there. So I am starting to learn the chains more because I want to stop looking like a goddamn idiot in these videos when I'm just like, okay, wait for the big number. There's no big number. Fuck. <laughs> but I really do need to learn these chains properly. Like, I'm sure the other people do, and I'm just being a complete idiot during these. I'm just like, okay. The only ones I know for sure are the ones where they're all 200,000 plus, or 200% plus. Which is really annoying, because you never really want them unless you're a speed team. But the amount of times I get that when I'm trying to go second is ridiculous. That's why I'm trying to, I'm trying to move away from the stereotypical defense slow decks I want I want to try and make speed decks more viable again without the bog standard deck which is usually double Vegito and Videl they just made um, the the rewards for going second are just too good with all the buffs that you can get it's very hard to um, sort of match that when you're going first I wouldn't mind it if it was just defense boosts for going second, but it's because you can get such massive attack boosts as well. It's just like, well, what's your reward for going first? Because unless you double up on some of these things, you're not going to kill them. Because a lot of their slow figures have high health, or they're put behind something with high health. Also, it's turn three, so Goku Black piss off. No, that's not what we want to do, is it? Eh, yeah, sod it. We should be able to win with this, shouldn't we? He can't kill me, because that's Gohan. And I just realised if he had put something there, I could have actually lost this turn. <laughs> and we got the 300, so all is good. I don't think we can win this turn. Not quite, unless Broly kills the Vegeta, but I don't see that happening. Wow. Okay, he's not even going to get the chance to, because that Videl is so tanky. Yeah, if you look at her figure, she is so bulky for an R-figure. I mean, it's still not going to stop her if, like, a Kefla goes and blasts her in the face, but... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I say for an R figure, it is very good. Especially, you could probably double her up with, as the game has, Ultimate Gohan for quite a nasty little uh, pairing. Problem is, you have to leave a uh, lane open, and you don't really have a way to uh, defend yourself then. Because you don't have, like, a Piccolo or really anything that's attacked down. I don't think I could really do another challenge where I physically pick the figures. Because it's very easy to pick a broken deck that would probably kill it in um, lower tiers. Because you can just basically run stuff like Golden Freezer, double version of that Vegeta. With all skills that lower your opponent's attack and be like, yeah. You may have high attack to begin with, but now you've got nothing. Alright, can we please finish it this turn? Well, Broly should hit the Master directly. I'm not sure how much health his Master has left. Oh, it doesn't matter, because we got the Spirit Bomb. I also forgot that the game can get the Spirit Bomb as well, I think, can't it? I don't know. don't know if I've ever been Spirit Bombed by the game. Obviously, you can't do it in the uh, story mode, because they don't get it there, but they do give it to the um, city battles, which is weird, but... Come on, Gohan, kill him. Maybe I need to do a Gohan team. I haven't done that yet, have I? There's enough Gohan figures to do it, so... 
I don't know, I haven't made a, a themed deck for a few days now. So... I should probably look to do that again. <laughs> I have fun doing theme decks. I really don't find a lot of enjoyment out of using the killer online decks. I have two... No, I have one that I would consider a good online deck built. And that's it. I have one that's kind of good at countering some decks. And the rest are just themed or the story mode deck. Woohoo, we got a Cyberman! Way, that's so good! Not. You know what you can do, Sheeta? You can stick your fucking Cybermen up your Sheeta. Right. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, we've got two more there. One up at Roshi's, uh, the Kami House. And then we'll do the last battle. Yeah, I'll do them all this time. There's enough... Jesus Christ, he's tall. Look at how tiny I am. I did make her as small as possible. Because I just basically like to blast the shit out of people. That's how I played through the entire campaign. Although, not in Xenoverse 1 because of Super Armor. Basically, how you played Xenoverse 1 was you grabbed every boss arm that had Super Armor and you won. Because Super Armor was bullshit. But it didn't block damage from grabs. It was very, very strange in a verse one. And had a lot of artificial difficulty. I mean, this game does as well in the story and the uh, the regular game. So, it's like they can't program in actual difficulty. Ah, okay, you have a theme deck. Blimey, he is looking to go online. He's got a piccolo with O1 skills on. He's looking to wreck us here. Um, oh god, what's he going to do? Um, you know what, let's just run strategy number one. Okay, he didn't put the piccolo on the trigger square and he didn't use his 01 skills. I mean, this is great because there's a good chance we can kill him now, so... Please kill him. <laughs> That makes it pretty much GG if I can get the kill here, because he's got nothing else on his team that really scares me. Come on. Come on, Gohan. You gotta put 4,000 on the board here. 3 6. And the counter attack, nice. Okay, that's fine. That's a good cup of tea. <laughs> I, need, I needed that after 20 minutes. Yeah, it's boiling hot and still I'm drinking tea because I'm British and that's what we do. Literally, it could be boiling and we'll still have a cup of tea because, you know, <laughs> you just do. Oh, God. <laughs> Goku Black but is back to doing no damage to anything. Ow, that hurt. God damn, calm down. Gohan just going absolutely ballistic on Goku. I do like the Piccolo figure there. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. I just want to look at this. I like the figure and I like the posing skill and it's another one where I would love to see it limit broken all the way and just buff that skill up. Because I think that's a really cool figure. It's And what makes it better is it's themed, basically. Um, you could, I don't know, there's, there's ones that could be quite interesting where if you have, say, a Gohan figure and there's Piccolo and Gohan's going to be knocked out by an attack, then Piccolo actually takes the hit for him. Like, there's some really, there's a lot of mechanics that I would, well, maybe not mechanics as such, but there are mechanics I would add to this game as well as different posing skills and things like that. And I'd like to see more where they interact with other figures, like um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and the any uh, Goku figure. As long as they're called Goku. It can't be like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. But I'd like to see more figures have interactions like that, where they buff each other or so something like that, if certain figures are there. Like Vegeta having a skill where if Goku's there, he pushes himself to be better. 
Or, as I said, Piccolo protecting Gohan. I just think it'd be cool to have interactions with figures like that. Like I said, that's one of the things I would add. But, uh, considering what the last update was like, I doubt they're going to add much of anything. Plus, they haven't added any mechanics in since the game started, so... The closest thing to a mechanic we've had is the skip button. Like, that's not even joking. A skip button. <laughs> Pressing R1 or R2 is the only innovation they've actually had during battles. That's pretty sad when you think about it. I know I say that there's plenty of stuff I do and I think honestly a lot of it would improve the Hero Coliseum. I think if you got um, guys like me, Santana, Edge, Mugs, if you got us all together in a room and they gave us the freedom to just do what we thought was best for the Hero Coliseum, we could make it fucking good and they could release a proper actual game release as just the Hero Coliseum. Because I think we could just make it that good. Um, God, do you have much speed? No, you don't. Um... Is it turn three? It's turn three, okay. That should be enough question mark to kill anything that he puts down there. <laughs> Goku Black's about to have a fun time if uh, we don't kill Gohan, though. We should, because we're going to go first, so both Gohans should die, if nothing else. And boom, we go first. Right. This doesn't really matter, I don't think. Gohan's going to die to Bardock, regardless of how much Gohan does, so... Not Bardock, Broly. Fuck me. Oh, Goku Black goes first as well. Good. That, uh, that guarantees that Broly's going to get a double kill right here. Right. Come on, Broly. Slap the shit out of these two. I love watching this animation of Broly because it just makes me think of the first Avengers film with the Hulk. Just the way he smashes the crap out of Loki and calls him a puny god. I'm just like, I would love it if they did that for Broly here. <laughs> what if he had an. Like the Santa Videl and the Swimsuit Videl, what if he had like a Hulk Broly and he just said that after smashing them into the ground? Just called them puny, and then whatever race they are. I just think that would be hilarious. That's what they need to do as well. They need to put some character into it. Have some fun. Do dumb shit, because they're trying to do basically nothing, based on the last patch. Like When you release 40-odd figures, and about two or three of them are considered good, you know you fucked up big time. Like, the new Vegeta, sort of Evo Vegeta, is very good. Golden Freeze is very good. You could argue that the Ultra Instinct Goku is decent. Uh, the new Blue Gogeta is decent as well. But if you look at previous updates, this one was just so bad. And I'm going back onto another rant about the update, and I shouldn't because I did my video on that. Then again, I could have made that about an hour long, in all honesty. With all the problems I had with that update, it could have been an hour long. Speaking of which, we're, half, we're almost half an hour into this, so... But it looks like we've only got two more city battles to do, haven't we? Oh no, more are opening up. God damn it. Um, <laughs> there's one over there. We're, back. we're up to four. That sucks. Um, oh, shit. Do I leave it here? Should I leave it here? It's 30 minutes now. Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave it here. 30 minutes, that seems alright. You guys have been asking for longer episodes again. Um, you seem to like them. I know that they're not everyone's cup of tea. Because, um, you know, sometimes you just want to watch a quick 10-15 minute video. But you guys seem to enjoy the 30 minute ones as well. It don't matter to me either way, really. Um, content's still going to come out daily regardless. I suppose it's, uh, it makes it a bit easier for me if I only have to do 10 minute ones. But... Not that much easier, so I don't mind. 
I just love playing uh, playing games and talking to you guys. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, please hit that like button, subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.